grab some of that cobalt teal and I'm going to start painting in the background again. So we've got our whole first layer. Now we're going to start working on that second layer and really creating some nice depth to the painting. So grab some of the cobalt teal and let's start on the background. It's okay if you go over some of the feathers. We're again going to go over that a second time with some more paint. There, I picked up some of the Prussian blue off of the first layer. Now I'm just kind of playing with it. It's totally fine to do that. You don't have to worry about it. That's the beauty of oil paint is it is so forgiving and so playful. So play with it. with the cobalt teal and Prussian blue. Still playing in the background, just adding a little bit of variety of color with the cobalt teal and Prussian blue. Notice how I'm bringing some of that color into the chicken. It's just creating harmony in the painting. Making a little bit of a correction to the chicken's body and moving in just a little bit. All right, mixing in a little bit of titanium white along with cobalt teal and the Prussian blue. We're gonna re-emphasize some of the light areas around the chicken. Layers equal depth, and that's what we're going for here. Taking my mop brush, 
going to blend in the background just a little bit to remove so many of those little brush strokes. The other thing I'm trying to do is keep the paint fairly thin by moving those layers around into each other. I want thin layers to ensure that it dries relatively quickly. There's also a concept called fat over thin. And what that means is, is we're gonna put fat, meaning high linseed oil, and thickness over thin layers. So these first, that first layer was very thin. The second one, it's a little bit thicker. I'm not so worried about um, too many ridges, but um, I am keeping it relatively thin because I do want it to drive pretty fast. So I am blending those layers to where there's not peaks of paint. Smoothing my brush strokes. And it also creates a nice smooth transition from light to dark or dark to light. Also creating some nice soft edges around the cone and the wattles. Let's go ahead and now that we've got our background in nice and blended, so let's go ahead and pause and paint and go ahead and paint in the background once again and blend it nice and smooth. <laughs> 